Welcome to our Laravel tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with relationships in their applications. Our viewer asks how to create an empty relationship based on user authentication. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy just like me to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. To create an empty relationship in Laravel based on user authentication, we need to define a method in our model. Let's start by creating a method called dummy. Inside this method, we will check if a user is authenticated using the auth helper. If the user is logged in, we will return the relationship. Otherwise, we will return an empty relationship. Now, let's implement the empty relationship. Laravel provides a way to return an empty relationship using the has1 method with a null value. Putting it all together, your final method will look like this. This ensures that if the user is not logged in, the relationship will return an empty result. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To create an empty relationship in Laravel, first check what is being returned using the DD function. If there is no data for the relationship, it will simply return no data. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create an empty relationship in Laravel, you can define a method that returns a new query. This allows you to bypass the usual relationship logic. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create an empty relationship in Laravel, you can use the with default method. This allows you to return a new instance of the related model instead of null. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Laravel, if there are no users in the user table, the relationship will return as an empty array. You can check this by using DD on your query to see the output. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To create an empty relationship in Laravel, you can use the new model instance method from Eloquent. It's best to maintain the standard relationship in your model and handle any additional logic separately. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.